Hey, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and today we're going to be continuing the Let's Play the Mass Effect trilogy. Pretty much in the last part, we did some more of Pharos. Um, we got some data and other stuff, and we took down this force field slash generator thing that the Geth had. And now we can get the fuck out of here, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And we also found out that Elizabeth is a fucking liar. So we need to confront her about that stupid stuff and say what's up. Anyway, if we come over here, guess who's here? There you are. This lying bitch. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. Just tell me where I can find the Thorian. No more lies. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Alrighty, so now we have to keep going. Um, Elizabeth's now going to come with us, but she just kind of magically disappears. But they kind of give you the illusion that she's going to be in the Mako with us. Alright, you know, it's whatever. So now we got to get back in the car and drive around and fail with the controls and all that good stuff that always happens. Right, let me try to turn this fucking bad boy over. There we go. And now we can leave. Now, if you remember in the last part, they were pretty much saying like, Hey, um... There's going to be a lot of Geth on the way back, which, eh, it's not really that many. And Slash, you can fight him in the Mako, so it's not that hard. Alright, just keep jumping over the rockets and the stupid laser thing. Kill this destroyer one shot. Destroyers are bitches in this game. Ah ha 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 ha. Motherfucker shot me with goddamn the blue shit. Ah ha ha ha. There we go. Ran your butt over, and now we can kill him. Get the hell out of here. Alright, so now we can keep progressing. And pretty much we're headed to Zeus Hope to investigate everything that's going on. And just see what's up with these people. So we, we learned in the last part about the Thorian, which is some type of plant-like creature that can control minds. And that's the reason why Zeus Hope are acting all strange. So now we have to go to Zeus Hope and see what's up with these folks. Um, see if we can save them. Because remember, guys, I'm a good guy. Anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio! What was that all about? This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. That's my mom. Stop! Stop the rover! You know, I've always wondered, could I just skip this part and say, you know, fuck these people. Like, let them go down there and do their thing. I'm going to Zoob's Hope. But I think they locked the door. I'm not too sure. I've never tried it. But I think they locked that door over there if you want to skip this part. So you can't skip this part. But yeah, so Elizabeth heard that argument happening. So now she wants to go and see what's up with her mommy. So let's go say hi to her mom. Lizzie's mom has got it. Everyone's oh, let me shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! 
Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Alright, so right here, pretty much, because I don't have the good points or bad points to persuade him, slash the charm, or whatever the hell, intimidate, um... Yeah, like if you pick one of these options, you can save this guy and convince him to just stand down and whatever, whatever, whatever. But because I don't have that, um, I'm gonna have to just shoot this dude in the fucking face. So let's I go. Don't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon or be prepared to use it. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on. As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Alright, so we just got some special gas grenades that can neutralize or disable the colonists without killing them. We'll and what that's mainly going to do for us it's pretty much give us a ton of good points if we can keep most of them alive or a ton of bad points if we decide just to shoot them all. So, it's easier just to shoot them, but if you want the good points, you need to take them out with the grenades. So let's go ahead and equip them now, because uh, there's been multiple times where I have literally forgot to do this, and then I blew all the colonists up, and I'm like, oh, shit. Um, and yeah, that sucks when that happens, but... Also, is there anything else I can do? Oh, all right. Around this point too, you probably want to switch over from your uh, more damage versus um, your actual more damage versus synthetics to your more damage versus organics because the rest of this mission is going to be pretty much nothing but organics that you're going to be fighting. Uh, so keep that in mind. Alrighty, now we can give the this data to this guy that he wanted. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Pretty much, just give us some um extra cash slash experience now we can go and deal with the zoo's hope so there's not going to be too many obstacles in our way besides an army of guests outside the door over here that we have to deal with but hey we have the make go so it's pretty much fair game now the gaff are ginormous so what i always wondered is that how fucking big is this car tank really because this tank is like so much bigger than the Geth that you fight. But when you go on foot, those Geths are like huge. I always wonder like, how big is this thing actually supposed to be? I guess it's just fucking huge. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of stupid, but all right, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Watch out for the machine guns. They will wreck your shields. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop shooting that blue shit and rockets at me, assholes. Um, 
But yeah, you get it. Just keep dodging up in the air to avoid that crap. It's I find it so much easier just to stand still and then and shoot then move around and shoot with this dumb thing. You hurry up and die. There we go. Now that they're dead, I don't think we have to fight any more Gap. That was pretty much the last bit of Gap that we have to fight. So now we can drive over here. This is where, if you remember, where Zoob's Hope pretty much starts. And there's going to be some pretty interesting stuff that's going to happen when we come over here. Hmm. What the hell is that thing? Alright, so this is a new enemy. This is going to be the Thorian Creeper. Pretty much a fucking husk, to be honest. Oh, that pukes. It certainly wasn't human. And right here, we get the option to tell our teammates to either A, kill everything, or B, not shoot the colonists. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Very well, Commander. Let's go. Let go. Alright, um... So, yeah, this is the tricky part, guys. This is where you're going to have to throw these grenades at the colonists, and it can be a little annoying. Mainly just due to the fact there's going to be a ton of these Dorian Creepers along the way, and they're annoying because you might shoot the colonists trying to shoot these things. Slash, what else can happen is that the grenades are just really stupid in this game. I, I always hated the disc grenades. They're, like, pretty useless for killing enemies. And they're really annoying throwing and detonating, but... Alright, so the easiest way to do this, to save these people, is to try to throw the grenade. Take your time if you have to. Um, try to throw the grenade right dead smack in between the groups of the enemies, and that will do it. If you have barrier, that will definitely help. If you have immunity, that will definitely help. You want that kind of stuff on so you don't die. Because, yeah, you'll freaking die trying to, like, take your time aiming the grenade. But if you run out of grenades, yeah, you're screwed. You're going to have to kill the people. Um, and there's only one grenade box here that can give you more grenades. But they do give you an autosave, which is definitely cool. And I'm going to run away. And then, like I said, so here's some Thorian Creepers. Best thing to do to deal with these guys is just to back the hell up. Let them come to you. Take them out so that you don't accidentally shoot any colonists. Because that definitely can happen. And constantly, every time you come across the colonists, just throw out your barrier, kind of get up on them and throw one of the grenades and blow them up. Now that can happen, and that's unfortunate when it does, because that makes no fucking sense. Um, there's this massive, giant, freaking explosion that goes off between two enemies, but yet, they, only one of them got, like, um, neutralized. Alright. Now we need to back the hell up over here. Your teammates are pretty stupid, though. Pretty much just what is to be expected. But you do want to kind of get these Thorian Creepers a little bit, a little bit over here. Um, now we can use Marksman, so die. You can also actually use your powers, too, I forgot. Um, yeah, the powers work really well. Like, the throw, lift, and singularity works really well on these guys, so keep that in mind. Alright, so this is going to be a large group of colonists, so you need to kind of aim your grenade carefully right here. Blow up. And that can happen right there, too, which is really annoying. Here's a grenade box. If you need it, definitely take it. Why is this happening? Ugh. Why are you killing them, Rex? I told you not to kill the colonists. There we go. One detonated. Ugh. Yeah, but what happened to me earlier right there? was that I threw out the grenade, and guess what, guys? It didn't blow up. That can happen. And it's ridiculously annoying. Slash, your teammates will definitely shoot the enemies, or shoot the colonists as well if they get close. Um, yeah, but that's really dumb when that happens. I don't understand that. Like, that's one of the most annoying things, because, like, um, you only get so many grenades. So at this point, I already know I'm going to have to kill a couple more of these colonists. It's really hard to keep every single one of these guys alive. I mean, it's definitely tricky. Alright. I don't know how many grenades I have left, but I know it's not too many. But I should be able to take out at least a couple more. Now, you're going to... Let's see. How do I... Yeah, come here. Alright. You use the D-pad to call your teammates over to you, although they're being stupid right now and not coming over to me. Come on. Alright, good. Like, right there, I'm actually happy Rex got... Uh, Rex actually got wrecked because 
like I said, it's just it's annoying. Like, what's going on there? Let's go ahead and throw this group of enemies over here. And now let's go ahead and use some marksmen and shoot the rest. But yeah, so like I said, definitely take out the Thorian Creepers um, first and then start to focus on the on the Calanus. And it's just, like I said, it's just the grenades are just so annoying. Alright, so now that the Creepers... Oh, the Creepers aren't dead yet. Almost dead, though. Alright. Hurry up and die, hurry up and die. Yeah, I'm just gonna drill and rush, I don't really care. And then I'm gonna throw you, so get the fuck back. And shoot you on the ground. Yeah, these things are annoying on Insanity, that's like the worst. I'm not playing on Insanity, as you may know. But they're really annoying on Insanity, just I'm because on. they take so much damage. Um, and it's just, it's just, it's a bitch dealing with them. Alright, uh, are you dead? Wow. That is really weird. I don't know how that happened, but somehow that colonist over there got hit with that blast. Don't ask me. All right. So I only killed. I only ended up killing two of them. That's pretty good. And right here, we're gonna pretty much open up the door to the Thorian, and then we're gonna be encountered by. Uh oh. I tried to fight. By Dang. It gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't. Ep epic, freaking epic. Yeah, so fight thing just put a bullet in his brain because he was trying to fight the Dorian, but that just shows us how pretty much how uh, much mind control. The Thorian actually has. Alright, so when we go down these stairs, this is pretty much where the Thorian's gonna be. But this is actually really strange to me. Um, but if you look right now, I just got four Renegade points and like a ton of good points. Now, this is weird to me. I always never got this. But actually, I mean, I know why they do this because they don't want you going back up. But still, like, how did this get here? How the hell did this thing get here to block my path? Are you serious? I didn't hear any type of, like, rock collapse. There was no animation on the screen to show that, like, you know, the, the path was blocked off. It's just stupid. But, hey, it's a video game, so they do that all the time. All right, so let's go ahead and investigate what's down here. It's a pretty creepy place. Let's see what's going on. What the hell is that? I mean, this thing looks like... Um, I don't know what the hell this thing looks like. I want to say a vagina, but that would be one disgusting vagina, that's for sure. All right, let go. We just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... This was not covered by my training manuals. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Oh man, that is disgusting. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground. All right, so that will pretty much start a fight with this chick. Um, this is just an Ansari clone, and we're gonna have to fight this multiple times. But I'm gonna throw her ass right off the cliff. So nah, 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 nah. Um, 
But yeah, then we're going to be attacked by a ton of these Dorian Creepers. And I mean a ton. You're going to have to fight. I don't even know how many. Like a hundred here? It's so many. Oh, it's. It's, it's kind of a nightmare. Like I said, on the harder difficulties like Insanity, these things take a buttload of damage. So that is really, really annoying. But luckily, I won't have to really worry too much about that. Come on. Nah. You always melee them, too. If they get in your face, just melee them back like that. <clears throat> just punch that motherfucker in the face and knock them down. Um, also, it is a good idea to maybe have... Uh, not Garrus, but... Rex uses shotgun right here, which maybe I'll give him a better shotgun. Uh, let's see what kind of shotgun he has. Uh, let's go for this one. It's a little bit better. Oh, well. I should probably put some equipment on this shotgun real quick. Um, man, I have nothing good on this. I'll just put some detection on it. Why not? And then we could put some more damage to organics if I could find that. There it is. Alright, <clears throat> so now we can keep going. Now you're going to come across these things, these um, neural notes or whatever. I'm not doing any damage to it, I don't know why. But you know what I figured out when I was thinking? It looks more like a heart than anything else. It looks like a giant freaking heart. Not a vagina. But maybe that's just because I'm a sick-minded dude. Alright, so now that that's destroyed... Every time you destroy one of these things, um, something's gonna happen. Pretty much, he's just gonna puke out another one of these Asaris, and out of everything here, the thing that will kill you will be the Asaris. Those things, um, or at least she can definitely kill you because she's gonna have throw and a lot of other crap and a shotgun, and yeah, it's kind of a bitch so there she is so let's go ahead and throw her ass get down okay but she didn't fall down oh yeah she also gets barrier too so that sucks ha ha get lifted up in the air I, you know I really wish in this game you could actually bomb the enemies like you can in Mass Effect 3 but you can't so oh my god die um I can't do it in this game, guys, unfortunately. You know, Rex always uses all his freaking powers, and it's really annoying because, like, I don't ever see him throw anything, but apparently he does. So, oh, get knocked down. And your melee does so little damage. So little damage in this game. Alright, let's keep going. There's a weapons locker over here. Let's go. Let go ahead. Ah, oh, I failed! It's so hard to talk in the middle of trying to focus on that. So that's the reason why I'm failing. Not to make excuses though, excuse me. But yeah, that's really the reason. But I knew it's an excuse. All right, so we're just gonna shoot the rest of these enemies. Die. Don't have any power yet. Ah, let's just go ahead and put barrier on, and then just a drill and rush for shits and giggles. That's the best part about the vanguard. It's still broken with that drill and rush. Whew. Alright, we come up here, like I said, every time you kill, or you blow up one of those heart valves, or well, they're not heart valves, but whatever the hell they are, every time you do that, that's when you're going to have one of these Asaris come at you, and, like I said, she can definitely kill you if you're not careful, because she charges in mindlessly as well, just like a lot of the enemies. The AI in this game is not that great. Um, they kind of did that on purpose, I guess. Just be, I don't know, actually, I don't think they did it on purpose, it's just that, you know, you gotta realize this is old technology, like, um, and when you're dealing with old technology, like, AIs used to not really be that great, in Mass Effect 2, they did a really, really good job at making the enemies a lot smarter and stuff, um, alright, <laughs> pistol keeps overheating, don't have marksmen anymore, that's like the worst, when you don't have marksmen and you have a ton of enemies coming at you, it warped. Day, day, day. Alright, now you sit here and keep fighting these freaking things or just shoot this, whatever this thing is. Um, I got marksman now, so let me do it. Shoot the rest of these guys. And they're just gonna keep coming, man. Keep coming. Like I said, there's a ton of these freaking things. And they're just annoying, because... 
they do so much damage. Oh, they don't do a lot of damage, but they they just take so much damage. All right, so that thing's dead. Let's shoot the rest of this. I'm pretty sure if you shoot, if you blow up that heart valve, like when you kill, I think you kill most of the uh, the Thorian creepers, but I don't think you get experience for killing them if you do it that way. Let's go ahead and throw you. Go ahead and put some barrier on as well. And then she threw me. Oh, uh, no. See, I, the problem with that is that when when you get thrown, that's what can happen right there. And you don't want that to happen. Um, because once you're thrown on the ground, you're going to get sworn by these freaking creepers. And they're going to annihilate you. Because, like I said, melees in this game, what they do, which is really annoying, is that the melees actually um, go through your shields. So they'll hit you directly for health damage. And the only way to get your health back is to use your meta gels, and you might run out of meta gels. So you don't want that to happen. So you definitely want to watch out for the throw if possible. Alright, let's shoot this thing. It's taking a long time. Now these enemies are getting up. I don't know why I put barrier on there. It really doesn't matter. Because they, no matter how much my shield is, these things will pretty much go right through my shield. Freaking day! Yeah, it's it's annoying, guys. As you may tell, um, I think this is the reason why people don't like Pharaohs. They think Pharaohs is probably like one of the most annoying planets in the game, which it pretty much is for the most part, um, to be honest. But I like it. I don't really mind it. I mainly like it because you do get a ton of experience here. And you know what? I just realized that I wasn't thinking about. I probably leveled up. Yeah, I leveled up a ton. Crap! I always forget that. I don't know why. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this lift now, because uh, lift is awesome in this game. It really is. Alright, and let's see what other points we can put into stuff. Uh, I'm going to go for the heavy armor, because Krogan heavy armor is amazing. Freaking amazing in this game. Go, let's go ahead and go for some advanced immunity. And for Garrus, let's see what we got. It's going to max out electronics. And I might keep going for Adrenaline Rush. Because that is kind of useful for Garrus. Not too useful, but it's a little useful. Right, come on. Ah. There we go. Get some meta gel here and there. And now we have one more of these things to fight. And now he's dead. Alright. Now, I do have Lift now. So... I mean, that's the best part about it, is now that I have all these powers, the drill and rush is even better, and I epically failed with my first lift. Oh, crap, that was not cool, but I got singular. Let me use that real quick. Always try to spam your powers before you adrenaline and rush, just because that is amazing. All right, and now we can start shooting on these enemies. Oh, crap. See, stupid Asari. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Oh god, she's on the ground. Die! Alright, she's dead. I think they get stronger as you progress to these clones. Like, they, they get stronger every time. Alright. Alright, if you run up here, you're gonna be... swarmed by... Watch your back, for sure. Definitely watch your back here. I hate aiming the powers in this game. Come on. But definitely watch your back, because, um... The enemies will pretty much get up behind you, like right here, and you don't want them swarming you from all sides, because that's when you'll die. Freaking die. You could actually... Ooh, crap. See, you don't want that to happen either. Alright. Uh, I want to throw her, but... Throw her? I don't think that worked. I'm so dead. Fuck. See, I knew I was going to die. I knew I was going to die, honestly. That's what happens, man. Like, those freaking Asaris can wreck you. They really can. So, I think I literally have to start over this whole part again. And I really don't want to. So, let's see where I am. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have to start over the whole part again. But, you know what? I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to go ahead and get to where I was. And then I'll just start from there. Because otherwise, this video is going to be, like, 40 minutes long. So, I will see you. Alright guys, we're finally back. 
And pretty much, we are, I'm just looking at my pistols right now, I just got me a better one when I was coming back to this area. So, let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff too, go for some high explosion. I don't think I have any better armor, but let's check out Rex, nope. Nope. Alright, so we can keep going now, which is what's up, but this is pretty much the moment where I died last time. Yeah, this is probably, like, honestly the hardest part, um, to be honest, of this whole area, just because you're going to get swarmed from all sides. And I kind of forgot that this is how you really want to do it. You kind of want to back up over here, and then, as you can tell, boom, she's dead now. I can go ahead and lift all these targets, which apparently I didn't lift any, because this game is whack, whatever. Um... But yeah, so, it's kind of a fail last time, but I know this episode's going to be really long, unfortunately, because I really want to finish this planet up. I don't want to make this planet a four-part planet, but it is just that freaking long, honestly, guys. Um, so, I will finish this up in this video, and I understand if not at- Oh my god, I can't hit nothing, what the hell? Die! Just freaking die! Alright, good, he's dead. Uh, yeah, but, I I just, I, I want to finish this planet up, so I will definitely be doing that. Well, I'm playing, so now they're dead. Now we can go up top here. I believe we got one more thing to blow up. Once it's dead, it's over. So that is what is up. Alright, freaking die. That was easy enough. Killed her quick. Now, once she's like, it's, you know, once the sorry is dead, that's the only real threat here. She's always going to be the one that actually kills you. The, well, the creepers can kill you too, but the, the, she's the one that starts it all. She'll knock you down, she'll take your shield off, she'll do like decent health to you, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're dead. Right, let's just go ahead and shoot this. I'm pretty sure if you just blow these up, all the enemies die, so. Boom! Bitch, I'm about to blow up! Alright, by doing that, this stupid plant thorian slash heart vagina is pretty much going to fall and fall to his death, so nah da ha da ha. And now finally we're gonna get another puked out Asari, but wait a minute, she's blue. I think she's a normal Asari. I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything alright? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. 
When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Sarah. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. So I always love that look, he's like, what the fuck? Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Creepy. Very, very creepy. I have given you the cipher. Just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. Alrighty, so... Whew! That is finally done. We are done with Pharos. Now we can leave here and never come back. Whew. But still. Um, you know, it was tough, but it took three parts to do Pharos, so hopefully the next couple places won't take that long, but with all the dialogue and everything, yeah, you know, that's pretty much what will happen with a lot of the missions in this game but anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this part uh please like this video it will help me out a lot and like always have a nice day